and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video by me, Foxy No Tail, here on the Truly Bedrock Survival Server. And in the last video, we ended it by discovering this prank that has been left at my base, which I'm really not happy about. I have, I was away for a couple of weeks. I had a couple of weeks off making off videos while I was busy on other projects. I came back to find this, and I'm not happy about it at all. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can go and find the other Truly Bedrock members and try and figure out who it was and get them to solve it, because I haven't got the time to start demolishing this because I've got other things to do, you know? Kind of like building this wall that I did in a live stream a couple of days ago, which just has appeared from nowhere. We've also got a gate there that matches that one. We now need a gate in the middle here because in the back there is where our castle's going to be. And here... And here is where our shops are going to be. And I need that space free so I can start building the shops, which is very frustrating. So, yeah, I'm going to go right now, find the other Truly Bedrock members and basically figure out which one of them did it so that I can tell them off and get them to get rid of it. Right. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Finally meeting. It's only been like a month. Um... What's going on here? Yeah, that, that's what we're trying to figure oh. out. We're trying to figure out why well, got... these are popping up around people's beacons. Yeah, who's doing it? Well, I got uh, one of these stupid things. I've just no. I've just got back. I've turned logged in. I've gone to my base and it's the stupid... Which one? Come on, who is it? Why are you all wearing stupid stuff? It was Guy's way, let's be honest. I'm wearing I it's, I, it's not... No one's doing this. This well, is happening. Things Wait, don't so just no happen. Come on. This. Someone's... It's all fun and games, I get it, but we've got a list, I'm on the list, I don't want it, so come on, who, who is it? Honestly, to be fair, no. I, I'm in the same boat as Foxy, who's building it? It's got to be one of you. Nobody's, nobody's why, building why it. Why have you got bits of paper? It's, it's the invite to the meeting. Oh yeah, what we meeting? all got invites. What invite? Why am I got... This meeting, the post office. What post office? One right there. Yeah, there. I, I've yeah just when I put... Jesse and I put letters in the post office. I've got, I mean, I've got mail. I've got a whole book. It's been there since July. <laughs> well, like, it was a very long two weeks. Right, anyway. Right. I just want to know who it is so they can clear it up and I can get back to making videos because I've, I've got loads of building to do where that thing sprouted out of my hole and I, I need oh, it we're fixed. not touching them. Did we yeah, nobody's touch doing this. No. What? Look, before we rule anything out, can we actually take a look at what happened to Foxy? Because that might have been actually just been a prank by somebody. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> follow me. You this can't miss it. It's this giant, mean. stupid thing growing out of the ground at my base, right uh, in the middle of where I've clearly yeah, been working. Someone else. See, see, this, this here is intentional, right? I did this. Yeah. This is what it's supposed to be like. That <laughs> catastrophe over here is not. Oh. Oh. Look. Look well, at this stupid blue thing sticking off it. Why oh, would wow. anyone do that? Yeah, that that's the same I don't I don't like one Yeah, are you guys um, you guys have a mixture of textures? Mine doesn't. I I'm like all blue. I don't have red stuff. Well maybe whoever's pranking you's developed a you know, a taste for different textures there, or maybe they've run out of a material or something. Well it's ridiculous. Oh, and it goes really right down as well, awesome. all the way down. If you go down my well into the next level, it's all down there as well. Uh, this this actually looks very. Yeah, I, 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 I can't there. see any beacon this beam. Very similar to what's at my house. Yeah, I think for the more beacon than beam's a bit higher. unreliable. It only works if you actually activate it, but I don't have it activated unless I'm mining. So can it's... confirm. Goes all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Yeah, we'll wow. go down. To, go down to the oh, next wow. layer, right? Come down my well. <gasps> Look, they Ow. haven't just bothered to you do it unfriendly. above. They've bothered below as well. Hop down oh here. Around the beacon, let go, yeah. let go, let go. No, no, no. Ow. <laughs> you have oh. Johnny's trying to kill me. No. Oh. Yeah, so this this all looks really similar to mine. So like, so someone's done it to you as well? Yeah, well, this, wow. this, is, this is why I've ordered all that scientific equipment to try and find out what it is. But what? yeah, this looks very similar to what's at mine. This is ridiculous. Well, come on then. There's like pretty much most of the whitelist online now. Who was it? Which one of you? See, I don't think it was anyone. I think Look, this is what, just what happens. I, I I just can't handle this at the minute. I've got too much to do. I've got four, you know, 14 days of catching up to do on the server. I'm I'm going, and when I come back, I expect this gone. I don't I don't well, I don't care who it is. 
Whichever one of you that's done it, it's not funny. Don't do it again. It needs to be gone when I get back, okay? I've had enough. I'll see you Bye, later. Um, Where is he going? Uh, this is his house, though. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say that I'm not very happy that none of them are going to take responsibility. It's got to be someone. They're all saying it's happening everywhere. They're saying, oh, it's corruption. The beacons are broken. I don't believe it. I think someone's just going around being annoying. So... Uh, I, you know, hopefully, whoever it is will come back and sort it out. But how long have I got to stand here looking at it before they decide their guilty conscience is going to take over and get rid of it? I'm really not happy about it. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to get on with something and try my best to ignore it. And unfortunately, it's not going to be building the shops that are there because that's in the way. So I'm going to turn my focus to this side of the road and build the things on this side where there isn't a giant nether horrible thing growing out of the ground. Good plan. Let's get cracking. However, before we get cracking, there was something that intrigued me about that meeting, and it wasn't the horrible pranks. It was indeed the post office that I didn't even know existed that apparently has been here for nearly six months. So I guess I should go and check and see if I've got any post. I, have, I genuinely had no idea this was here. I'm so bad. I'm such a bad server member. Look, there's a light on, on my... Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, the entire world <laughs> is in... I got sti 17 sticks. Why have I got sticks? Emergency meeting for the beacon problem. Right, okay, so that's obviously my invitation that I hadn't got. And then uh, there's a book. So what's this book all about? Beacon issue by Jesse B. Right, okay, well, let's check this out then. Dearest server mate, I'm writing this message because of recent events. I think it's of the utmost importance that we have a town meeting. Recently, I've discovered a massive corruption at my base around Beacon. At the rate it's going, I'd say addressing it now is our best interest. Warmest regards, Jesse B. Do you know what? If that doesn't sound like I've been pranking everybody and I'm trying very hard not to take the blame, I don't know. That very much reads to me like guilty conscience in a book I, is jesse b the one is it jesse b is it oh, I, oh, um, I, what's going on here this is more of oh jesse jesse you need to give up oh it's really annoying <laughs> please it's so annoying please don't do this it's very frustrating oh do you know what i think oh, I bet it is Jesse. Why would she write? Otherwise, why would she do that? Why would she write a book trying to wriggle out of it before it's even started? Oh, it's not me. Look, divert your attention elsewhere, people. I'm the one trying to solve it. I don't think so, Jesse B. You've been rumbled. Well, whilst I'm still wearing my investigating shoes, I may as well come to Jesse's base and investigate further. And immediately I see something interesting. Many, many nether things. Lots and lots of nethery things here inside of her nether hub. Very convenient, I would say, for somebody going around doing lots of nethery pranks, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Look at that nether stuff all the way down there. Hardly any overworld things at all. Even as we step out of the portal, more nethery things. Oh, Jesse B, you're giving the game away so easily. You're not making this very difficult to assess. Oh, look, more nether blocks all over her bed. Oh, jeez. Do you know what, Jesse B? Do you know what? I think that... Well, look. Trees made of... Was my litre not working? No, I just can't fly. Oh, jump boost. That's why. Look at these trees made of nether things. Nether brick stuff here. Oh, Jesse B. Jesse B, I think you've been rumbled. I think you have definitely been rumbled. And if my memory serves me correctly, when I was doing Dad Craft's treasure hunt, I happened to stumble across something I shouldn't have done on the inside of here, which just happens to be an elaborately, beautifully done nether area inside of her base, which just happens to be round her beacon. Look at this. This isn't, this, there's no way this just sprouted out of the nether. This is way too beautifully done. Look, lan lanterns on trees made. This is mushroom blocks. This isn't nether blocks. This has been handcrafted. This has, this is definitely 100% intentional i think this is where she comes to practice her her pranks look she's done different bits here that are not connected 
So she's practiced a bit here. She's practiced the tree over there. Look, then she's practiced these bits. She's experimented with the uh, the glass here around her beacon. She's even gone and experimented around the pandas with the nethery material fence. Look, and the, and the lanterns, yep. I am now absolutely 100% percent, not percent, percent convinced that it's Jesse B. Can you tell me, is it Jesse B? What's that you say? It absolutely is. Yes, I thought so too. What do you think about... Oh, you don't think anything at all. Right, Brett, Brett uh, yeah. Mm. Right, so Jesse B, it's time we had a conversation. Ow. Come for down. Do the jump boost. Get rid of... Jump boost is so annoying. Jeez. Well, I was going to go and find Jessie B and talk to her about it directly, but seeing though she didn't bother to talk to us about pranking everybody, I've decided to just leave her a note instead, and rather a harsh one as well. Jessie B, I know it was you. Get rid of it or else. Don't try deny it. I fully investigated, and it's obvious that it's you. It's not funny. Sort it out now. I think that should make life nice and clear, and I would expect that in the next 24 hours that corruption around my beacon is completely gone, and it will everything will be back to normal. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Either that or she'll just hide from the server for a little while. I don't know. One way or another. But yeah, I'm, uh, hopefully that'll do the trick. Pretty sure it will. So back to business and doing our base. We now have this wall in place here. We have the gate in place there. What we don't have is the gate here and we don't have the shops here and the hay bales and barrels and stuff or the fountain. Now we're not gonna do the castle just yet. We're gonna leave that to a little bit later on. So I really wanna focus on the shops and this area down here and the type of shops we're gonna go for are something like this, which is actually a photo of the York Shambles, which is an area in York York, which has buildings that date back to around about 1350 to 1475 so very old quite medieval looking and really interesting in their design now oh, I've stolen a couple of these photos from Google so their quality is not absolutely great but I really like the design of these builds I like how they come out over the road and I also really like the variation in them the different colors and textures but they've all got this sort of square window effect which is going to be try quite tricky to try and reimagine in Minecraft but I'm going to do my best so the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out where we're going to be putting these things and how they're going to be laid out now our road here is actually quite wide compared to the road that there was on those photos but that does give us room for the buildings to then arch over and come towards the middle now we don't want them to fully touch we do want them to see the sky in between so i think this is a good distance for the buildings can be from the side of it now unfortunately this thing is in the way a little bit but i think we could probably build at least the fronts of the shops on this side of the road so we can get a good feel of it and we don't want to get too much in the way of our gate either Okay, so cutting forward a little bit, I've maybe spent quite a little while building this, which might not look particularly impressive on its own, but once we've got a few of these in a line with each other and some of the other side of the road as well, I think this is going to look pretty good. Now, the colours and the size are not quite in keeping of what we've got with the rest of the area. The dark oak is absolutely fine, and the bone block's fine as well. But the brick is probably a little bit off. And also I've used polished granite stairs for the roof. Now I've been looking at some photos for the roofs of these houses and they've all got red tile brick roofs. And this is pretty much the closest we've got other than using brick stairs, which is a problem because I only have two brick blocks left. So I might have to come up with some different materials for the other ones. But in terms of shape and structure, I'm quite happy with that. I think it's absolutely fine. Like I say, once we've finished it off and we've got a few more of these in a row in the other side of the road, I think this is going to look really good. Well, as you can see, we now have two of these in a row. They do look a little bit similar. I've done, uh, ow, or done my best to uh, keep them unique to a degree, but they are very, very similar, and the roof is very, very similar. I've added a little bit of variation to the roof as well as some chimneys, but what I really want and what I really like is this brick effect. I want to add more brick in, and let me show you why. As I've been flicking through a lot of these pictures, although these buildings with brick are probably built more recently than the older ones, there are a lot of brick builds in here, and it really just does add that variation that I think is needed in order to make these things look different and stand out. 
Now I can use different wood variations and different sort of uh, texture variations on these parts of the build, but I think it's the brick and the different shapes that really does bring it together to make it look messy and not so uniform. So what I really need to do now is go and get some bricks. Now I know I could go and find some villagers and some stonemasons and go trading with those, and there's probably even those villagers over at Mine and Slack's Iron Farm, but I hate villagers and clay, getting clay is easy, and I've got a very, very lovely clay shovel here that has got fortune on it, which means I get a lot of clay balls back for my money. So I'm just gonna come to an area near my base, which is very much unused, and just go digging in the rivers and get myself a lot of clay that way. Because to be honest with you, it's probably quicker than going and messing about with villagers, and it's more fun as well. Oh, and Tiz is here. Hello, Tiz. And after almost no time at all, and hardly any durability on my shovel, I now have a full inventory's worth of clay, which I'm now going to go and deposit inside of my smelter. Not the one that me and Slack built, because that's just way too powerful and I don't understand it. I'm going to go pop it in my nice and easy one and make many, many bricks. Yes, lots of bricks. And here we go, we can see the hopper minecart distributing all of the items inside of the many, many furnaces. The machine is already kicking off, the items are already smelting away. This won't take any time at all to produce a full inventory's worth of items. It's update time and I have done a lot of work. I've put a lot of hours into this today and it is starting to feel less medieval with every block I place, but I'm really liking the feel of it. I'm liking the leaningness. I'm liking the variation in the different builds. This one's almost got like a, a ski chalet vibe to it. I'm trying to go for different widths of the buildings, different shapes, offsetting them in slightly different positions as well. And I really like how it looks. I love how the whole thing looks but it does look a little bit away from our medieval vibe. So I'm not 100% sure what we can do about that. I mean, the brick particularly, I like the look of and I like the variation, but it does feel a little bit odd. It little, look, feels a little bit modern. So we might have to break that up a bit with some of the more sort of oldie materials, particularly the dark oak and the, I've gone for the smooth sandstone there and obviously the bone blocks there, which is that really kind of work. Now, obviously, we've got wool and things over here and spruce on our other buildings. We might need to start bringing some of those materials in as we get closer to that. But I'm really enjoying it. Now, obviously, these ones have got no backs on. These ones have got barely any backs on. I've put some shape in just to sort of get an idea of where I'm going to be going with those. This one has, and it's also got a large window at the back, which I'm planning on having sort of almost like an upstairs loading dock, you know, like... Uh, you see in some older buildings, they've got like almost like a crane sticking out of it and they load stuff in upstairs. So I was thinking something like that. But still, like I say, I'm not 100% convinced that this brick is really working for our medieval vibe. But having said that, as you walk through here and you sort of see this town emerging, it really does sort of start bringing together this whole sort of York shambles vibe, which I like. So yeah, I think I'm going to carry on with it. We're probably going to end up pushing this gate a little bit further along, just so that I can bring this on along a little bit. Either that, or maybe we'll stop this one here. Oh, broke that there. Put the gate in place, and then just start a couple more again over this side and have a break in the middle. That could work. Well, a substantial amount more time has passed and things are coming together quite nicely. However, there is something that's standing out to me that I really don't like, and that is the roofs. The roofs I like the shape of, I like the style of, I like the fact that they look a little bit rugged, and I like the textures. What I don't like is the fact that they don't look anything like the other roofs in the area, which I do like, and I think they suit the style we're going for. So, what I think I'm going to do is tear all of these roofs off now that I've put them on and replace them with some wooden roofs to try and blend them into the other buildings. But otherwise, other than that, I'm actually really happy well with how this is coming along. The brick one still looks a little bit too modern for me, but we'll, uh, we'll work on that later. But these builds now feel a little bit more complete now that they've got walls and backs to them all and the same thing on this side and i really like the variation we've got on this side in terms of how they stick out the different levels and the different materials as well i think it really does help now internally there is nothing in any of these although they do have doors and they do have backs and sides now 
But yeah, there's absolutely nothing inside them. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I am going to worry about is the fact that I've already spent hours on this. And I'm going to spend a few more tearing out these roofs and putting on some different ones. And there we go. All of the rooms are now 100% changed apart from the one in the middle because i think that one actually goes as it is i've also updated the chimneys to be stone brick instead of the normal brick because i think that looks better as well and overall i'm really happy with those i think that makes these builds blend in with the area a whole lot more than they did now aside from this horrible nether thing growing out of the ground i think all of this area really starts to blend in nicely with itself now i'm really happy with how that's come along but we are going to need some things to fill in these big gaps. And when this thing's gone, when Jesse B's tidied that up, we'll have a big space there to play with as well. Now, there is one more of these buildings that I actually do want to put over here. So we continue with that feeling of the arching over the road. However, I want to get the gateway to the castle in first because... Yeah, that's going to be quite a prominent and important part of this entire build. And I don't want to build the next one of these in the way. So I guess that's the next job to do. However, unfortunately, that is all I have got time for today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do think about subscribing because it really helps the channel. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.